I think we're live. <laughs> I think we are. If you can hear me, please post in the comments that you can hear me. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. Um, anything can happen on a live video, so you never know. Um, including Kim wanting to play, so she's squeaking her toy. Um, <clears throat> hey, guys. I'm Jessica, the furry family coach. If you don't know me, I'm a positive methods force free dog trainer. And I am, let's see, what did I put on this video? We're talking today about, oh, right. All those people, I hear it so often. Help, help, help. My dog just will not listen to me. Pretty common. Um, if you have this problem, post it in the comments below. Or if you know somebody who has this issue, um, post it in the comments below. If you're just like, oh my gosh, my dog will not listen to me. I want to know about it. Or if you've ever experienced it. Or um, if you've ever overcome it. Let me know that too. Post it in the comments. So what are we, what are we going to do? Help, right? That's what I'm here to do is help. And I'm sorry, I keep getting notifications on my phone, so they're they're bothering me. Um, <clears throat> if your dog isn't listening to you, what are we gonna do? Well, I have really one one thing to tell you, and it's gonna make or break whether your dog listens to you or not. Um, and I talk about this a lot: the the foundations of dog training, seven miracle steps. That's all they are. We've got seven steps that you need to do to um, begin positively training your dog. And you can get your copy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I want everybody to have a copy of this. Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog, bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. And if somebody could type that in for me, I would really appreciate it. Um, because I'm live, I can't really get on there and type in the comments. So, um, yeah, one thing you can do, get your dog to listen to you. Um, <clears throat> so first off, let's talk about some of the ways in which your dog isn't going to listen to you. So, um, you know, if you're calling them and they're not listening, if you're, you know, asking them to do things and they're not listening, if you're, if you just feel, I have so many people say, my dog is just dumb or my dog is stubborn and they just won't listen to me. Well, yeah, I mean, neither of those are true, but, um, what you need to do is get your dog to cooperate with you. You need to be um, the source of positivity in your dog's life. You need to, you need to be meaningful in your dog's life. So if your dog isn't listening to you, there is a good chance that they just disregard you because they don't have a lot of positive interaction with you. Why are you going to listen to somebody who is just constantly yelling and screaming at you? Um, so I talk about this a lot in, I was, like I was just saying, in the seven miracle steps to train your dog. Um, you need to have a connection with your dog that isn't just that of a dictator. And a lot of times that's what I see happening. You know, you have these, um, you know, you love your dog and, you know, you take care of them and you, you want, you know, snuggle time with them and all those other stuff. But when it really comes down to how the two of you interact in, in your relationship, um, you're more of a dictator, right? And you're just yelling and screaming and you're like, oh, do this. Why aren't you doing this? Come here. Like you're, and, and what we really want to do is um, become more meaningful in our dog's life. That way they don't disregard us. They listen. That's really the key. Um, and the, the way to do this is through positive interaction and um, using reward-based training. So anytime, what, for instance, 
if your dog is currently not listening to you and it just so happens that they're sitting next to you, right? Start rewarding that behavior that you want to see from your dog. And a lot of times this means food and treats. Um, but for some dogs, higher value rewards may be playtime or cuddle time or just, you know, petting them or, um, you know, any, any, anything like that. Toys, treats, they're all really great positive reinforcement. So that's what we need to do is use um, positive reinforcement to really make that bond and that connection between you and your dog that way you're meaningful in your dog's life and they do listen to you. So that's really the foundation of whether or you're not or not your dog is going to listen to you is is how your relationship is between you and your dog. Um, you know, dictatorships aren't awesome. We don't love dictators, <laughs> right? So if you're yelling and screaming at your dog and they're not listening, well, maybe we should try a different approach. In fact, we definitely need to try a different approach and that's going to be positive reinforcement and creating that bond and being a, a source of positivity in your dog's life. And I don't mean just, you know, you're just there to be their best friend, which you are like you are best friends, but you also can, you also need to use those positive reinforcement methods and, in, in cultivating your relationship and cultivating your bond to make sure that you are meaningful in your dog's life and everything changes. Literally everything changes. Once you're meaningful to your dog, they start listening. So that's really my advice for when your dog isn't listening to you. And obviously there are certain situations and certain instances that people are going to be like, yeah, but yeah, but this is happening. And what do I do exactly for this situation? I get it. Totally get it. Because it's hard a lot of times to take a theory and apply it to a situation. So if you have a situation, post it in the comments, let me know. And I'm, I'm here to help you with it. Let's get through it together because you and your dog are a team and you deserve to live a happy, harmonious life together. So post that in the comments. In fact, any question you may have about your dog, um, dog behavior, dog training, dog nutrition, I'm here to help you. So post it in the comments. Um, you know, where are you feeding your dog? I'd like to know. And I'd like to help you um, make sure your dog is getting the nutrients they need and um, the diet that they need, a biologically appropriate species specific diet um, to make sure they're healthy and happy and the bro their brain is working the best way they can. So send me your questions. I'd love to help you in whatever situation you're dealing with with your dog and take this theory of positivity and actually apply it to you and your dog in your life. So go ahead and post in the comments any kind of question you may have about you and your dog, dog training, dog behavior, dog nutrition, um, anything like that. Go ahead and post in the comments. And just again, to recap, you need to become meaningful in your dog's life. And we, we use positive reinforcement techniques to do that. Sometimes that means food rewards. Sometimes that means playtime. Some that, sometimes that means just petting and snuggle time. And that's okay too. Every dog is different. Um, and what is the highest value to your dog may be different from the dog next door and that's okay. So we learn it and we work with it. And I talk a lot, a lot, a lot about positivity and how to use, um, positive methods to train your dog. In fact, the seven steps I teach every single one of my in-home clients right here in this ebook available to you right now. I'm so excited. Seven miracle steps to train your dog. Go get your copy. Okay. bit.ly seven steps dog training. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But again, any questions, please post them below. I'd love to answer them. Make sure you're following me on social media. Um, and so you never miss another video and you get notified 
when I answer your question, right? So follow me. Um, and with that, I will see you in the next video.